This video provides information for scholar contacts in schools and will cover the role of the scholar contact, how to help teachers and learners access their scholar accounts, how new scholar accounts are created, special types of scholar accounts that are available and some handy points to help your school to make effective use of scholar. Each school has a nominated scholar contact who plays an important role acting as the principal point of contact for communications between scholar and their learning community. As a scholar contact, you are able to manage the scholar accounts for your teachers and learners, and we'll let you know whenever new accounts are created for someone at your school. You can also request additional scholar services, such as the enrolment of S3 learners, so they can access materials to support the broad general education, or if you would like us to set up consortium classes within our system. All teachers and learners in S4 to S6 who are associated in CMIS with National 5, Higher and Advanced Higher classes supported by Scholar will already have their own Scholar account ready to use. If you would like to check the account details for a teacher or learner, you can log in as the Scholar contact and access these through the secure password admin area which we'll look at in a moment. If your learners know their GLOW username and password, they can log into GLOW and access their account via the Scholar tile. In this case, there is no need for you to distribute separate Scholar account details to your learners. Teachers can choose to link their GLOW and Scholar accounts, but for security purposes, the first time that they log into Scholar through GLOW, they will need to enter their Scholar username and password in order to connect the accounts. For this to happen, you can provide teachers with their account details or ask them to obtain these through the forgotten password link on our login page. It's important that teachers provide the same email address as they have in CMIS for this feature to work. Please see our video, Scholar Access through GLOW for Teachers for further details. If your learners don't use a GLOW account, you will need to issue Scholar usernames and passwords to them. Let's have a look at the Password Manager feature in Scholar to see how you can do this. All teachers and learners will have access to the Password Manager, but each person will see data that is tailored to their account. Learners will only have access to their own account information. Teachers have access to their own account information but can also see account details for all of the learners that they teach. As a scholar contact, you have full access to all teacher and learner accounts and enrolments. The full list of your learner's scholar account details can be found under the student passwords area. If you're accessing these in order to distribute account details, for example, if learners are unable to log in through GLOW, then you might find downloading a copy of this list useful. You can do this by selecting the Download this data link. If you don't require a copy of all passwords, you can reveal one password at a time by selecting the Show button next to the relevant account. You can also check to see exactly which classes each learner is enrolled on by selecting the Student Enrolments link. Here, you will be able to see an entry for each class that a learner is enrolled on. This means that if a learner is enrolled in five scholar courses, there will be five separate entries for that student in this list, each line giving the class enrolment details. Teacher account details can similarly be found by selecting the staff passwords or staff enrolment links. Teacher and learner accounts associated with S4, S5 and S6 classes supported by Scholar are created automatically for schools using CMIS and you will be notified once your school accounts are ready. If you wish to enrol S3 or BGE learners or create a consortium class, you can create new enrolments for teachers or learners using the secure Upload Spreadsheet feature. Depending upon the reason for registering new accounts, there are slight differences in the data we need you to send. Contact our admin team who will send you the relevant spreadsheet template ensuring we have the correct data to enrol your teachers and learners. In this example, 
we'll enrol a new class of S2 learners for a teacher who wants to use our Level 3 BGE Geography, Geology and Environmental Science course materials with their class. First, we'll complete a pupils spreadsheet listing all learners in this class. You can enrol a learner for more than one course at a time. For each course a learner is studying, just complete another row in the spreadsheet. The cohort, which will usually be completed for you, but will always be the year plus SCO. For example, 2023 SCO. Your school SQA centre number. The subject ID. You can find a list of courses available in the second tab of the spreadsheet. For our chosen class, this is L3GGE. The subject ID should be entered exactly as it appears in the list of subject IDs tab, including any spaces. The learner's SCN. First and last name. For the class, this is the name your school uses to identify each class. For example, you might have three National 5 Maths classes called Class 1, Class 2 and Class 3. We'll use this class code later in a teacher spreadsheet to allow us to match up each teacher with the classes they are teaching. Please note, there should be no spaces in the class name. Enter the learners year group if this hasn't been entered for you. For learners, the status is normally set to 1 unless they normally attend another school and are only studying some courses at your school. In this case, use the status number 2. An example of where you would use the status number 2 would be if a learner who would normally attend another school is being taught at your school within a consortium class. Please leave the password and date added columns empty. We'll save this learner spreadsheet and upload it to Scholar in a moment or two. To make sure that the teachers working with these learners are able to track their progress in our reporting system, all we need to do now is to provide a spreadsheet identifying the staff member teaching this class. The staff spreadsheet is similar but has a few differences. There is a staff ID column which should remain blank. The staff spreadsheet requests a staff email address. Please supply the email address for the teacher if you know it because without this they will be unable to use our forgotten password feature or receive any email alerts regarding updates to the courses they teach. Please note, it's important to enter the staff email address and first and last names as they appear in CMUS. Finally, if the class teacher is a principal teacher or faculty head and needs to be able to see reporting information for all learners studying this subject, whether they teach them personally or not, enter a 1 otherwise enter a zero. Teachers are normally only able to view scores and progress data of their own learners, but principal teachers and faculty heads are able to track all progress for learners in a certain subject. Once the data has been saved in the teacher spreadsheet, you can upload both files using the upload spreadsheet feature in our password manager, adding any note to our admin team if you feel that would be useful. Your spreadsheets will then be processed Although at certain times of the year, it can take up to three working days for our system to update with any changes you make. Temporary teacher and temporary learner accounts are special types of accounts provided to you and it is important to understand their purpose. Scholar automatically creates a bank of temporary teacher accounts which you can give to supply teachers working in your school. These are available within the password manager and there is a temporary teacher account for each class which will allow the supply teacher to access the reporting system, letting them review the scores and progress reports for learners in the class. Note that student teachers at your school can use a special scholar account available to ITE institutions rather than a temporary teacher account. This account has access to all courses but it will not allow them to access learner data in the reporting system. You will also have a bank of temporary learner accounts, again one temporary account per class, which should only be used until the learner receives their new account or their account is given access to a requested course or class. 
These accounts should only be used in the short term. It's important to provide your learner with their own account as soon as possible so they can track their own progress and test scores. In this final section of our video, we'll take a look at a few things that are useful for scholar contacts to know. Did you know that learners have access to over 40 courses in Scholar? Through our link with CMIS or using data supplied by schools, learners will normally be enrolled on all of the Scholar courses that appear on their timetable. And this ensures that their teachers have full access to reporting information on their progress and can view their scores and mark answers online. However, sometimes a teacher or learner might need access to a course that doesn't appear on their timetable or to one on which they are not yet enrolled. This could happen when a teacher on one course has spotted an engaging online activity from a different course that they would like to use with their learners. Or possibly when a learner has changed subject at short notice and the CMIS link is yet to update their scholar registrations. Getting access to other courses is no problem as all teachers and learners automatically have guest access to all Scholar courses that they are not enrolled for. On the welcome screen, below the list of timetable courses, you will see a display other courses toggle. This can be useful in many ways. It can allow learners to find other material relevant to their studies or even get a head start on next year's curriculum towards the end of the summer term or just do a bit of window shopping ahead of subject choice time. Please note that this guest access to courses provides access to the online learning materials only and will not track progress or scores data. The learner needs to be enrolled onto the course in order for this to happen. While teachers can only download progress and scores data for their classes, principal teachers and faculty heads can download the data for all learners at subject level. As the Scholar contact, your account gives you the ability to download all reporting data for each course for every learner at your school. To download the progress and or scores data, go into the reports section and select a course, then select either the download all progress data or download all scores data button. Depending upon the number of classes you have, this may take a moment or two. The download is in Excel format and you can make use of the usual spreadsheet filters in order to manipulate the data as you wish. See our video entitled Downloading a Record of Progress and Scores Data for full details. Finally, our friendly admin team are more than happy to help with any queries and you can contact them directly by email, phone or using the contact form on our website.